In the health center tonight, some big developments today in the fight against COVID-19. The term herd immunity has come up a lot when signifying some sort of end game to the pandemic. But now experts are worried that it could be harder and harder to reach. And now this comes as Pfizer's vaccine could be authorized for kids ages 12 to 15 years old. This is early as next week. We want to bring in Dr. Inbal Shakam, a professor of behavioral science and health education at St. Louis University. University. Thank you so much for joining us, Doctor. We have a lot of information to sort through tonight. So let's start with that report today that the U.S. may never reach herd immunity. What is your take on this as a doctor? Can you help us understand? Yeah, I think that, thank you for having me. And these are really complicated constructs. So how do we understand what we're doing and what we need to be doing? And so one of the things that we really need to be doing is thinking about what is herd? What is the herd that we are claiming is um, our herd? So, you know, we can think about our neighborhood. We can think about our county that we live in. We can think about the state or the country and the world. So how do we define what our boundaries are has been really difficult to uh, accomplish the idea and the, uh, the goal of herd immunity. I think we were probably too early to talk about herd immunity, uh, you know, probably uh, about a year ago when we were thinking about COVID and how it was gonna go away and how it was gonna come back and go away. And, and we thought there was gonna be this ebb and flow of a kind of like the flu, but we didn't have that, right? We didn't get to experience that, but we are, are seeing that um, the we have a global uh, global society and um, cutting this, cutting off our borders has been one method, but it hasn't really shown to be very effective even within our country. And when you talk about that gap between herd immunity and then where we are now with as many people who've received the vaccination, some people have already had COVID, that gap there. Can you talk about that gap? How do we close that gap? Right. So, you know, we have about, uh, let's say, throughout the country, we have about 50% of adults who have gotten at least one dose of the of a vaccine. So that's fantastic, considering our time frame. It, it, it's been really fast and furious. I think that's an important piece of the puzzle. The other piece is that um, that many people, you know, we're at millions of people who've gotten infected and recovered. Um, and, and we don't know how long their immunity will last. So we, depending on when they got infected and, and um, how long their immunity lasts by measuring their antibodies in their bloodstream. So when we would be able to know how long. Um, and, and there are studies that are collecting all these data right now, but we don't know all of that in real life, right? And so um, what we are trying to figure out in, is the best way to say, how do we get more people vaccinated? We know that um, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, when you, when you get both vaccines about two weeks later, you reach about 95% uh, immunity. That's pretty effective for a vaccine. And so thinking about what else we need to do, we need to get more adults to get the vaccine. And what about the children? We got that big news today that as early as next week, the FDA could authorize the use of Pfizer's vaccine in adolescents. This is 12 to 15. Talk about the importance of, of children in, in reaching herd immunity. How, how important is it? Right. So about uh, probably about a month ago, I was talking about how we had about 25 percent of the U.S. population is under 18. So getting herd immunity was going to be really difficult without a vaccine for a solid 25 percent. So what we've seen with the infection, though, and COVID infections through uh, the last year has been if children, when children get it, uh, they're not the youngest children are not getting it more often. So the 12 and, and older, so the middle school and high schoolers are the ones who are getting more often. So this is really good and promising news for Pfizer. Uh, I think those results and being able to start vaccinating children is really gonna help. I think uh, getting children and adults more likely to get vaccinated is going to help uh, the achieve some sort of normalcy if it's not herd immunity it's going to be some more comfort in going in public places and getting to a routine pattern in our communities all right dr shock and there's so much more we could talk about tonight but we are out of time unfortunately thank you so much for your thank expertise you so much. take care